What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's video, we're gonna uh, basically bring you over Paxton's newly restored 300ZX. We're gonna basically explain all the modifications that we've done to it so that you guys can kind of come along with us and check the car out and see everything that we've done custom on it. So here in just a moment, I'm gonna turn the camera around, let you guys see the car. Check it out guys. This thing is transformed compared to the way, we're gonna post some pictures of the way the car used to look. But yeah, we uh, put a lot of hard work into this. We have a few videos on the channel that you guys can check out of us actually restoring the car. We got pretty, uh, pretty intense on the hours of labor that went into, into making this thing look the way it does. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Throw a like on the video if you guys liked what we did here. All right guys, so real quick, the aftermarket parts that we have on the car. Of course, we have the purple wrap as you can see. We got the aftermarket rims. We got the purple lug nuts that bolt the aftermarket rims on. We got the NRG steering wheel um, that Paxton is about to show you. We got the NRG spoiler there in the rear. We got the tint on the front blinkers here. And we got the tint on the rear tail lights. But yeah, we have more mods that are to come, but we just wanted to make a video and show you guys what we got so far. But yeah, this steering wheel here is an Alcantara steering wheel. Um, it's a very, very nice steering wheel, one of the best that they have on the market as far as comfort. It's got the Alcantara here that, as you can see, is very nice. Check it out. We got the tinted signals, as you can see there. We got the aftermarket wheels with the aftermarket uh, purple lug nuts to match the wrap. Oh, we got this too. We got the Instagram stickers that we made ourselves with a, uh, a printer, basically. It's a uh, certain printer that prints stickers. But yeah, pretty cool. Got the rear wheel here. Let me show you the NRG spoiler that you can see here, all carbon fiber, which is a nice touch on here. We got the tinted rear tail lights. This actually, this piece comes factory black, so it's pretty cool how it basically, um, it fits there with the tint job. So we got the tint here, the tint on the center, and then the tint on there. Can't forget the sticker either for Paul. Paxton had to put that on there. Uh, if you guys don't know who Paul is, Paul is the Fast and the Furious um, legend that drove in the first Fast and the Furious, the Eclipse. But yeah, check that out guys. It's got the Paxton van for his Instagram handle. But yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, I just wanted a quick walk around, let you guys see, give you a quick peek of the interior there. But yeah, this car, is becoming a masterpiece. But yeah, comment below guys, let us know what you think. We still got a few as you can see here, we're about to buy this replacement piece. It was originally um, pretty rotted out whenever we had purchased the car. We we're going to wrap this chrome actually. We're gonna bring that black to tie in and match uh, the roof and everything. But yeah, we still have a few extra things to do on the car before we're done. Paxton, tell him what else you wanna do the motor. Oh, uh, we're gonna want to put a new engine in. No, you're wanting, what engine do you want to put in it though? I want to put a 2JZ in it, just so it's all of Japan. 2JZ? Yeah. What were we originally wanting to put in it though? An LS. An LS motor? Oh. Which is an American motor, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, check out Paxton's shirt there. You can tell he is a JDM lover. He's got the Skyline, the RX-7, the Supra, and the NSX. Quick shot under the hood, guys. 
As you can see, the car was originally red. Get you another angle on it. But yeah, this motor has been professionally detailed. One other thing I forgot to mention, it does have aftermarket coilovers on it as well on all four corners to get that nice tight fit. Pax, what kind of coilovers did we put on it? Tins? Uh, yeah, I think it's got tins of coilovers. Pretty cool though, I figured I'd show you under the hood. All right guys, well that's all we got for you guys today in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you guys like this video, make sure to put a big thumbs up on it. Until then, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace!